Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we are taking a look at LG's brand new velvet. And as you saw, we got a special package from LG, so I want to thank them for sending it over. Uh, we were number eight out of 15, so this is a complimentary package that showcases everything about what this device is all about. And as you guys know, you guys come here for gaming on smartphones. So we're gonna take a look at gaming on the LG Velvet to see how well it definitely performs. Now, the Velvet is unique because it brings some new styling for LG. Just the water drop design and look is so much refreshing. I do like it. Uh, you've got a 6.8 inch uh, POLED display. Resolution is 1080, but it is a solid looking display altogether. Uh, and this device comes with a headphone jack as well as a USB type C port in that nice thin profile. What makes it unique, of course, is the camera lane and how the cameras have this teardrop look to them from the main sensor, the ultra wide, uh, of course, the zoom, and then of course, the flash altogether. It's a nice aesthetic look. I like the fact that LG went with it and I am digging that whole design architecture. But what's interesting for us is what's underneath the hood. It's powered by a Snapdragon 765 processor. This is a 5G processor, but also the next tier down from the 865. That should still pack a lot of punch for our gaming needs. And as you know, that's what we do uh, quite well. Now, in terms of memory and storage, we've got six or two, eight gigs of RAM, and then of course, 128 gigabytes of storage, expanded by micro SD up to two terabytes, something LG has done for quite a while. Now, Gaming, how does it perform with gaming? It's got stereo speakers uh, built into there. We've got this LG 3D audio sound to it. Uh, so you hear how the speakers sound, we give some temperatures, which I got some Call of Duty, PUBG, and of course, Fortnite. So let's jump in. All right, so game performance in this is good. Now, the one thing I've realized is that all, a lot of the games are not optimized for the processor. This is something that happens a lot in Android with new processors that come uh, to bear. So as you saw with something like, um, you know, PUBG, uh, we couldn't do uh, Ultra or HDR because those elements have not been updated yet. And again, this device literally was just announced. Uh, and also uh, we saw that at Fortnite, you couldn't max out the 3D graphics yet. So again, uh, that's just to put things into account, but still was able to game well. Now temperatures wise, we're getting about 98 to 99 degrees in, in, uh, on max temperatures, but I like the heat distribution. It didn't feel like it was burning. It felt actually really just warm, which is nice. So I didn't realize that it was 99 degrees until I actually measured it. Uh, which actually put things into perspective for me. Uh, in terms of speakers, well, take a listen. They're loud, they're loud, they're clear, and to me they're actually much better than what the V60 actually brought, to get, brought forth. And you've got uh, in decibel readings, of course, of our test quickly there, 102 decibels, it's nice, it's solid, uh, but the other things too, of course, the LG Velvet. LG's continuing its line, of course, having uh, different accessories, uh, including some really nice, cool specialty cases uh, that are more lifestyle, but I like the look and fits the idea of what the Velvet is. Uh, but also you do have the ability to get, of course, a dual screen case, which LG has been pushing in the devices for the last year or so. And this case actually feels a little bit more streamlined to me. 
Uh, it feels a little bit better in terms of fit and size, a little bit thinner, slimmer, compact, and weight balance between both screens feels a bit much better with this case. Now it's all white. You've got a small screen at the very top uh, to give you notifications, which I actually do like. And it gives you the ability, of course, to game at the same time. Yes, you can play both Fortnite and uh, PUBG at the same night or, or Fortnite and Call of Duty, doesn't matter. Technically, you can have somebody else gaming on the other side with you, which is actually pretty cool. Although, of course, audio cues will be completely outside to see you better just turn off the sound. Now, with the case, you have, of course, the ability to gain uh, using that case and having a second display. And my issue still stands that, of course, we don't have triggers. And that's something I would love to see with these cases, or at least remap some of the buttons uh, on the case itself to do some of that trigger functionality. That being said, though, you still can map out the buttons on screen any way you want. You can play with claw drip, uh, grip, which is a bit hard for me. I just can't do that well, but it gives you options to game and play. And that is something that most people would like to definitely see. Now, I think overall, this is a solid device and I like what LG is doing. I think the 765 processor does a very good job for your gaming needs. Now, before I actually round up this video, I just want to talk about another device which I'm actually using to record this. And this is the Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1. This is Sony's new compact camera. And I absolutely love this bad boy. Now, sometimes you can either get it with the, the vlogger stand, which connects via Bluetooth. It's easy to walk around and carry, so you can actually pick it up like this as I am doing so, drop it down, it's got controls on there, but the camera is pretty good. It's got a 20.1 megapixel uh, CMOS sensor, it goes up to 4K30 uh, in HLG, and of course, of course S-Log, uh, Cal Zeiss lens, uh, 24 to 70 millimeters. But the great thing is also got that flip out rotating, of course, viewfinder, which is great. Something that Sony has not done uh, in a while. And I'm also recording the audio directly off the device. So you're hearing this from the camera here, uh, giving you an idea of what the audio would actually sound. Now, this thing is pretty cool too. Uh, it's got, of course, a dedicated record button, a shutter button, you've got your quick modes. It's actually easier to use than most Sony cameras. Although the bummer is it still uses micro USB for charging. I don't know why in this day and age USB type C, but if you're looking for a camera, uh, I just had to throw this in there because I use it for this whole video and I absolutely love it. Go check out the Sony uh, ZV-1 or ZV-1 uh, and that's something to definitely take a look at. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you got uh, a good idea of what the LG uh, Velvet actually does as a gaming device, the kind of performance, the audio, all those things all together. And this will probably give you a good idea of what to actually expect if you're looking to purchase the Velvet. All right, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.